Hi everyone, it's Dr. Romani, and today's video is about hmm, something very interesting that a lot of you have encountered. I'm going to talk about it in terms of how to deal with a narcissist when they try to pull you in the mud. And I'm going to teach you today how to fight fire with grace. Make sure you subscribe so you can keep getting notifications on new content. But let's go back. Let's talk about what I mean by fight fire with grace. In some ways, this is going to be one of my more unsatisfying videos, and you'll see why in a moment. Narcissists are better fighters than the rest of us. They really are. They're great at fighting. They're like chronically like these really angry attorneys, always looking for a fight, and they always come up with these complex arguments. And by the time they're done, you're more confused than when you went into the argument and even had a very, very valid point you were trying to make. What they'll do when they start feeling that the argument is getting out of their control, your points are well made, and you've got more evidence than one would bring into a court case to make your argument, then they're going to start getting ugly with it. They're going to start pulling you into the mud. That's when the insults are going to come. Anyone out there who has been in a messy divorce with a narcissist knows how dark this can get really, really quickly. All kinds of insults, lies, defamation of your character, doing the whole flying monkey thing, drawing your family in, drawing friends in, alienating you. You know what this looks like. And when a person is drawing you into the mud, is lighting a bonfire and trying to draw you into that kind of fight, the temptation is, I am going to pull the gloves off and I am going to become as nasty a street fighter as them. To which I say, slow down. Because you cannot fight the way they fight. They have got brass knuckles, you don't. They're better at fighting and arguing because they're more antagonistic. That's just what they're good at. Remember, because of that superficiality, if you go deep, they're pretty superficial. From there, it's almost easier to fight because if you have empathy, you're like, that's actually kind of a mean thing to say. I don't want to say that. I'm not that person. So that's what you want to pay attention to is that difference. You probably can't do it. So what do I mean by fighting fire with grace? What I mean by that is when they're insulting, doing the flying monkeys, doing the alienating, posting the nonsense on social media and all the rest of it, when that's happening, you cannot get into the mud with them because all, all that happens then is if they isolate the little episode of you getting in the mud and all, that's all somebody sees, you can imagine how somebody would interpret that. And even, even though it's unfair, they're not seeing the other side of the argument. So when, once you face down all the insults and the criticism and the psychological pummeling, you're saying, what the heck does grace look like in that condition? Grace looks like being very serene, being very remote, making sure that you do not engage them, being polite, but again, making sure you don't engage them. When you think of what grace means to any of us, it's about holding your head high, not losing control, being very self-possessed, and honestly, being very serene, very calm. Nothing aggravates a narcissist more. Because when you're serene, when you're calm, when you're not spinning around like a rolling dervish, that's when they get even more upset because when you start yelling and screaming, that's exactly when they're going to square up and say, what is wrong with you? You are so emotional. Do not give them the satisfaction. Do not give them that satisfaction. You almost got to get into sort of this Jedi mind space where you're like, I am going to stay calm. I'm not giving them the satisfaction. That's what I mean by fighting fire with grace. They are always, always, always going to take the low road. You can guarantee it. If you can keep it together, stay calm, stay serene. But listen, if you're dealing with something legal with them, a divorce is a great example. Make sure you document the hell out of everything. You do the deep dive. You keep the diaries. You're very clear when they screw up custody agreements. You get the forensic accounting and make sure they're not hiding money. I'm not saying that you don't want to use those techniques, 
but in your interactions with them, when they're, again, setting the bonfire, when they're laying down the gauntlet, the key for you is to stay calm and to stay graceful. It means avoiding doing things like defending yourself. Lots of people in these situations want to defend themselves and say, I didn't do that and I didn't say that. And look at this and there's this thing on my recording on my phone, la, 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 la. No. When they accuse you of something, you calmly just look at them and kind of give them one of those, okay? And walk away. There is nothing more satisfying than a narcissist who's looking for a fight and can't get it. Always remember that. The beauty of fighting fire with grace is that after the whole thing is done, you don't feel like you've been assullied by the whole process. You will know that you did take the high road, that you did keep it together, that you were well regulated, that you did not insult someone like you were a seven year old on a playground, but rather that you stayed calm and focused. Now, you might be thinking, but I just want to punch this person in the face. I get it. I've been there. Find something else to punch. Go to a boxing gym. Go to the gym. Go do something that requires you to kind of get all of that out, but do not let the narcissist see it. And heck, you know what? If you're having that contentious a relationship with a narcissist, you may end up getting into really, really great shape. So like I said, fight fire with grace. Don't fight fire with fire. A narcissist is always, always, always going to win on the field of battle. What you need to do is take away the battle, keep it calm, and let them spin and spin and spin around waiting for the fight that you are never going to give them the satisfaction of. Thanks again for tuning in. Please hit the bell, subscribe. We're growing our community every single day. And again, your comments also help with this. So send us your examples if you ever did fight fire with grace and how that worked out for you or if you ever kind of wish you did and didn't and realize now we'd all love to learn that lesson thanks again